We live in a culture of influencers. Yeah, uh, whatever that means. This week's vlog is gonna be a little bit different. And in this week's video, we're gonna discuss influence and how somebody can influence somebody else. Let's dig into it. Get out, get out. Oh, it fell off, it fell off. It broke. <gasps> it what broke. broke? Nothing broke, I just got you. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna use that for lighting. <laughs> so we're trying to go to Chick-fil-A to get some free chicken nuggies. So this week's video, I'm actually doing a unique thing. To show you the deep dive, there's like a, a, a big like. Like just working with students all day, I think of peer pressure, how do students' friends affect their choices and in turn behavior and academic success. And especially knowing like younger generations are on social media, like yeah. their brains are being formed around what they see other people doing. I'm trying to get some Chick-fil-A free nuggies, but I don't have any rewards. <laughs> So I gotta like, I gotta level with you. Like you had ad asked me uh, last week, like if I were at a place to like be with people and be vulnerable, I would have said no. And I ran across this book. One of the points was that you should be genuinely interested in people. I was like, I can't do that because I'm like, don't wanna be vulnerable. So I was not letting people into that. But then there was another second part, make other people feel important and do it sincerely. Yo, I was not ready to do that. Hi my love, how are you? Saturday and we just finished our workout and I have not worked out that hard in so long. I literally didn't know if I was gonna be able to walk out of there. All right, you know after a good workout, we need some good nutrients for our bodies. So we gotta get some smoothies, smoothies. Smoothies, <clears throat> smoothies. But on top of getting a good smoothie, Rachel's got some coaching stuff she's gotta do and I just get tag along for the day. Y'all wanna see my wife's classroom real quick? Okay, so welcome to my wife's classroom. Over here you've got the classroom and that's it. Okay, let's uh. See that over there? That's my wifey. So real talk, this week was a refreshing one. It took a season of isolating my vulnerability from others, but I had to fight them. And then in turn, that allowed me to be genuinely interested in people and to make others feel important and doing it sincerely. Find those that are close to you and just be honest and authentic with them and just take it slow. How'd it go? Thank <laughs> you. 